The Unequal Scenes Project is a series of aerial photos and video that I've taken with a drone over the most unequal parts of South Africa. While I was at the University of Cape Town, I learned a lot about how the city itself was designed with separation in mind. Those echoes of apartheid, those echoes of the past carry over. We're still dealing with them today and it's so obvious when you look at the photos that the images of inequality that I'm showing directly come from apartheid, which is only 22 years ago. The first video I took of Masapumalele and Lake Michelle, when I rose up from the ground and the drone changed perspective, I was shocked. I'd never seen that perspective before of the separation in South Africa and I knew that I had a really powerful set of images. I think each of the photos in the Unequal Scenes Project speak to a lot of different facets that are at play besides just inequality. They speak to homelessness, they speak to disenfranchisement, racism, urban planning, art. There's a lot of different ways that people have taken the photos and they're very transferable in that sense. My main hope is that these photos provoke conversations, get people talking about these issues, and then those conversations lead to solutions through policymakers, through activists, through grassroots organizations. That's my hope. One of my favorite images, and one of the ones I think is the most powerful, is an image of an informal settlement located right next to a golf course in Durban. There's a thin fence between them. It just is incredibly poignant, that photo, to me. Because a golf course is the icon of wealth and leisure, to some extent. What I want to do going forward with the project is actually take it internationally. I want to take it outside South Africa. What I think would be really interesting is doing a comparative study of unequal scenes in wealthy parts of the world, like America or Europe. There's inequality everywhere. There's inequality and unequal scenes in every country in the world.